Well, we will soon find out whether or not things are going to work out for the number 12 of Keith Little as the gate is down here in moto number one as we drive into that first turn. It looks like Yokohiro Suzuki rider number 55, Digger Doug Gust, former ATV champion, is out front early on. He's got company from some of the young guns, including the 191 Honda rider of Dustin Wimmer out of Center Valley, Pennsylvania. But let's take a look at that hole shot one more time in the ITP hole shot award, the ATV stampede. As you can see, it's a... Uh, Pretty even match up to about the way through, and then Gust all of a sudden just kind of pulls out ahead of the rest of the field and is able to capitalize and take the uh, first turn without much problem and take over the early lead. But like we said, we got some young guns coming up hard and fast behind him right now, including Wimmer aboard the number 191 machine. Other riders to keep an eye out for here in this first include the number 12 of Keith Little. He's gotten off to a strong start right now so far it looks like as we've got a battle for the number one spot early on here at Steel City in the ATV Stampede as we see the riders making their way through some of these uh, uphill rhythm sections and these are very challenging sections of the race course. The, the camera angle does not do this track any justice whatsoever. The location change these riders are faced with from the bottom of that hill to the top of the hill here at Steel City. Again a good look at the number 55 of Doug Gus as he makes his way around the top of the hill there that rhythm section the six pack in a curve there and it's uh, rather challenging on two wheels let alone the four wheels but these guys seems to, uh, to have it all mastered here at steel city and Doug Gust, again, is proving himself to be the one to beat, at least here in moto number one today. Keeping an eye out for Jeremiah Jones, who didn't get off to a great start trying to work his way up through the pack right now. It is Little in the number two spot. Dustin Wimmer has dropped all the way back to a number five spot here at the ATV Stampede in front of the grandstand doubles with those tabletop landings. That's where we saw Josh Upperman with the helmet cam actually take the nosedive. So we know that's challenging through that section, but these riders, again, taking it out without much uh, problem whatsoever. And look at this. Here comes Little now battling for the number one spot with Doug Gust able to make the pass and take over the lead. And now Russellville, Alabama's Keith Little out front aboard that Honda. Yoshimir Suzuki's Doug Gust running in the number two spot. And there's still plenty of riders back there that are going to be knocking on the door and want to be a force to be reckoned with here. Keep an eye out for the number 16 of Jeremy Lawson. He's trying to work his way up through the pack. Also the number eight of Jason Luke. Rider out of Zanesville, Ohio, we don't get to see a lot of. He's back there, and he's trying to work his way up into a top five position. But all eyes are up front right now on Little and the 55 of Doug Gust as they make their way around, nearing yet another completion of another lap here at Steel City. Look at this, and here it comes. Nope, that's uh, that's Jeremiah Jones actually working his way up through the pack now as we see him now just in front of Joe Bird. It looks like Joe Bird is struggling quite a bit out there. Bird should be able to capitalize out here today, but not going to be able to as we take a look at that. That, uh, scroll across the bottom of your screen to see how things are actually starting to line up for these riders and it looks like Joe Bird is struggling John the Tally doing a little better I think than what a lot of folks expected him to but still struggling out there with that injured thumb wrist whatever the case may be he's still got some more uh, x-rays to get taken of that to ensure what the problem actually is you got to wonder should Natalie be out here but at the same time that's his paycheck and he's got to keep food on the table as he's going to be getting married here real soon look how tightly knit these riders are as Keith Little continue to hold on to the lead Gust back in that number two spot and he is trying his best to reel that number 12 machine back in so don't count this number one position out for a major battle before this one's all said and done and don't count out the 191 of Dustin Wimmer like we said he's been coming on strong as of late and with a top five ride early on here could be a podium factor today especially if he can ride two consistent motos here at Steel City and what a great crowd we've got out here on hand to watch these four wheelers not quite the two wheel crowd that we normally see but again this is the inaugural running of an ATV national at Steel City USA located just outside of Pittsburgh Pennsylvania now we told you we had 20 riders vying for top honors here today at Steel City in this inaugural running and they do include riders like uh, Keith who is out front uh, battling it out right now with Doug Gust the number 55 other riders including Jeremiah Jones aboard the number two Yoshimira Suzuki the 191 of Dustin Wimmer he's out of uh, Center Valley Pennsylvania the 199 of downtown Patrick Brown factory Yamaha rider out of Pittstown New Jersey the 708 of the Bumblebee Harold Goodman from Romulus Michigan the 53 of Corey Ellis from Marietta California tried his hand at the uh, Pro-Am Unlimited racing on Saturday to try to get uh, 
uh, familiar with the Steel City race course. The number 16 of Jeremy Lawson out of Battletown, Kentucky. The 19 of Jason Dunkelberger from Trevorton, Pennsylvania. The 101, Rocco Arno from Bridgeton, New Jersey, also out there. The number 8 of Jason Luberg out of Zanesville, Ohio, running a strong top right now. The number 75 of Joe Havisto out of New Ipswich, New Hampshire. The number 7, Joe Berg. Having some problems, like we said, in moto number one. He's your current points leader out of Union City, Tennessee. The number 32 of uh, Matt White, also running a strong race in the uh, Pro-Am Unlimited Racing on Saturday. Uh, 46 of Richard Pell, shot Canadian national champion out of St. Robbie-led Quebec. Number 270 of Josh Creamer out of North Stonington, Connecticut. The 13 of John Natale out of Heltsdale, Pennsylvania. The number 30, Travis Spader from Point Pleasant, New Jersey. 99 of Justin Bress from Oakdale, Pennsylvania. And the 751 Trent Candle out of Millersburg, Ohio. Uh-oh, tough break there. As it looks like that the number 191 and the 270 of Josh Creamer get together. And Creamer gets the short end of the stick as we see him rolling. We'll take a look at that one more time our ITP replay. Here you see Wimmer coming down underneath. They just kind of tap wheels there, and uh, it was just a battle for the inside line, and it looks like Creamer comes up a little short. He looks a little frustrated, though, as we see those hands go up in the air. As you can tell it's uh, pure disgust and uh, total just uh, heartbreak for him here in this first moto, but uh, it opens things up there for Keith Little. Now, before that little incident, it was Little, Gus, Creamer, Wimmer, and Brown. That moves Wimmer up into a number three spot, and the battle continues back there for fourth and fifth. Fifth. It looks like Pat Brown move up into a number four spot. And Jeremy Lawson, who was running just outside the top five, now moves into fifth place after Creamer's misfortunes there. There's Gus still in the number two spot. And Wimmer now in the number three spot. And there is Creamer. He looks like he is out of the race. Not just down, but completely out of the race. So he's not going to be a factor here in first moto. The factor, though, Keith Little up front as he continues to try to put as much distance as possible between himself and that number 55 of Doug Gus. Some changes taking place back there behind him. We saw little Gus Creamer in third, Wimmer in fourth, and Brown in fifth. But with Creamer being out, that'll move Wimmer up into a number three spot, all the while trying to chase down the veteran of Keith Little, the number 12. As you can see, even Doug Gus, the, one of the faster guys on the racetrack, having some problems getting that accomplished right now. But these riders in the same stretch at the same time. So Doug Gust, I'm sure, feels well enough right now in that second-place position to know that uh, he might be able to uh, close in as the moto wears on and we get closer to the finish. As we take a look at this, it is still Little and Gus, first and second. Wimmer moves up to third. Downtown, Patrick Brown in the number four spot. And Jeremy Lawson now rounding out the top five. Lawson. We've seen some of greatness out of him so far this season, but we haven't actually seen a, a solid, good solid ride by that rider just yet. But uh, don't count him out for one before the season's all said and done. He is challenging right now Brown for that number four spot. Meanwhile, John the Tally way back in the pack, just trying to uh, trudge along and get as many points as he can here this uh, race weekend. you got to wonder just how bad or how well that uh, the number 13 machine may be doing out there today. Well, he's running back about a 15th place position at this point in moto number one. So he's not a real big factor. Another not a big factor, and this could really stir things up in a big uh, uh, side